Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. Saturday afternoon, October 17th. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and of course, always most interesting, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this upcoming week. So, of course, do stay tuned. An interesting ride to come. That's right. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. And this card was the Five of Wands, entitled Strife. It's attributed to Saturn in Leo. Saturn can be a restriction. Saturn can also be manifestation. But in this case, it's more of a restrictive influence because Leo loves to be free. Leo loves to be proud, assert itself, do what it wants to do. And Saturn says, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have more responsibility. We're going to be focused. We're going to be concentrating on overcoming obstacles in order to reach our goals. So it's not a terrible car because our lives are of strife. We are here on Schoolhouse Earth to learn lessons. And this is definitely a lesson teaching influence. For myself personally, I found circumstances trying at times, driving at times was difficult, dealing with other individuals at times could be difficult. It came about in external circumstances for me is how this manifested. But this tended to teach me patience. It tended to give me discipline. It supported and strengthened me. It was not a destructive influence. But out of this comes new power, new fire, new life. As we'll see in the next card. Yes, that's right, my friend. The card of the present, what we're coming into now, is called the Prince of Wands. Now, also, this is known as the Page in the Rider right Waite Tarot, and it's basically a very fiery, dynamic influence. If I was doing a reading, I would describe this as a person who is very fiery in nature. Uh, they tend to be very charismatic, very magnetic, attracting people to themselves very readily. People tending to like them because they have all this creative energy, all this force, all this fire, lots and lots of self-confidence. So, in practical terms, this may very well translate into confidence for you this week. You may feel very strong, very much like, yes, I can proceed with my plans. I've broken through the resistance. And now I can, I can go forward and do the things that I want to do and need to do, which is kind of like how I feel myself. I have felt energy shift, and I feel like things are easing up, and things are going to be flowing in a very powerful way this week. And we just have to watch against falling into our own limitations, because that's, at this point, the only thing that can hold us back, as we'll see in the next card. That's right, the third and final card, the card for the end of the week, is the universe, also called the world. In the right of way to row, it's attributed to Saturn. Now it's interesting, last week we had Saturn in Leo. Now this week we have Saturn. Now this I see is different though. For one thing, notice that the figure in the card is dancing. It's a dance of creation. It's manifesting. It's making choices. It's focusing. Yes, we are free, but we have to focus in order to use that freedom. We have to make decisions. We have to restrict ourselves in some ways. Or we may also be faced with our own limitations inside of us, our fears, our blocks, our inhibitions. These are things that we may need to overcome to get to where we want to go. But this is much different to me than last week's Saturn and Leo. This is just simply dealing with manifesting things in the most effective manner and relieving blocks that stand in the way of that manifestation. So this can be a week of real lessons, positive ones, life-affirming ones, things that really put us in the driver's seat and really get us going to where we want to go. Well, there you go. The blog blazed and you blazed with it as usual. Thanks a lot for watching my blog. I'm going to keep it going. Uh, today I'm doing it on Saturday. Some days it'll be Sunday or Monday. I have to go around with what's happening. I have to be a little flexible, and I hope you can be so too. But I love you, and I thank you again. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.